So you might have heard of the preprocessor and macros in C. What are them and how can we use them to our advantage? Well, let's uh, find out in this example. So first things first, I'm going to define a macro here. And to define one, you have to start with hashtag define space, the name of it. So you're going to start, we're going to say size for this example and space the value that you want to give that macro. I'm gonna say five, okay? And to use this, you just can you just can you can type size in here anywhere in the program. I'm gonna use it to define my array of size size, and I'm gonna just iterate over using an i here. So four i equals zero i less than size i plus plus, and then r of i equals i times 2. Next up, I'm just going to iterate over it again just to print out the values. This will not take long. Percent D uh, space R of i. Okay, if I try to run this, you will notice that we're printing five elements because we have defined size to be 5. If I try to change this to 10 and I run this again, we get, well, 10 elements. You can count them. They are 10. So, what is this macro? How does it work? And why Why can't you just do int size equals 10, for example? And just comment this out, right? It's, it's gonna produce the same result, okay? And I can even like say, okay, well, make it global. Same exact thing. Well, the difference between this Thing and a macro is that when using an integer, when using a, a variable here, you're basically just saying, okay, well, use this place in memory, just basically look at this place in memory, dereference it, and use it, right? Here's going to look at it just as an address and um, use it from there. But with a macro, we're gonna be using what is called the preprocessor step, which is a step that happens before the compilation of the compilation unit. So, the compilation is done after what, what we're gonna be doing right now, which is look at the code and see where we can find macros. And we have the macro size and the preprocessor looks, oh, we have the macro size and we're using it. Let me just replace it. So it's going to look at the value of the size. I'm going to go copy. Oh, here's the size. Paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And that's what it's going to do. And just going to execute it like so, right? So that is before the compilation. The advantage, the advantage of this is that you don't have to use a place in memory uh, to Use the size, you can just use a constant straight up from there, right? It's just gonna be a copy and paste, and it's not gonna affect the compiling time nor the execution time. It's, it's just gonna make your code look better and not use any more resources than it should, right? And when you want to change the size, well, you do what I did in the beginning just change the number here, and voila, you have the number, you have the uh, size being changed. Okay, well, that's cool and all, but how else can we use it? Well, you can actually parameterize a macro. This means that you can define, let's say, a macro called product of with variables, let's say, x and y, and it's going to just print out x times y. Not print out, uh, just the value of the macro is x times y. And I can use this. Well, just by, let's say, declaring two variables, A is going to be two, B is going to be, I don't know, six, for example, and I can just print F or send the uh, backslash N. I can say product of A and B. And if I try to run this, you will notice that I get the result of A times B because the preprocessor also looked at the, um, variables. Also look at the 
and the parameters. They are not the same as in a function. This is not the same as a function, it's just a copy paste. And it just kind of replaces also the x with, uh, with the variable that we give it here, a, and just kind of replaces it here. So you're just going to say, instead of x times y, it's going to say a times b, and simply delete all that, and it's going to result into the same exact thing that it did before, right? But this doesn't look at the type of the variable. You might notice that I didn't have to uh, add a type here. I didn't have to say int or char or whatever else, right? Well, that's because this guy is just a copy paste. It doesn't look at a type. It doesn't look at a variable. I can only, I can even give it a number straight up like nine, and it's going to say, well, nine times six, which is fifty-four. Due to this, you have to take into consideration one really important thing and that is enclosement of parameters what happens if i do product of a plus one and b what's the result well the result should be what a plus one is three and then three times six is 18. amazing okay so let's see if i run this i get well i get eight that's, that's a bummer. Why is that? Well, let's take a look at how this thing gets replaced. Well, we can look at the parameters. What is, a well, let's copy first the expression and let's look at what is X. Well, X is A plus one. So you're just gonna copy and paste the expression there. And what is Y? Y is B. And the result is the equivalent of this. And you might notice that the uh, actual order of the parameters is not correct in this case because, well, 8 is the result of 1 times 6 plus 2, right? So, to fix this issue, you have to enclose your parameters if they are, um, if they are treated as values, you have to enclose them in parentheses like so uh, here and here okay and if I try to run this you might notice that we get the expected expected result that's amazing right and now if you try to uh, copy and paste this you might notice that we actually get the proper um, result so I hope you learned a little bit about macros. This is just an introduction. You can do a lot more things uh, using macros. You can create a macro for swapping variables. Uh, you can create a macro for uh, iterating over an, an array, like a for each in C. Uh, you can even define classes, define classes in C or whatever crazy things you might do. They are very used in C programming and even C++ as well. So um, I hope you understand at least the basics. They can go much more in depth. Than, I can go much more in depth than this, but this is just introduction for the macros. Uh, I hope you understand something from this video and uh, thank you for watching.